Hey, what is going on, guys? It's the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And no, this is not a pre recorded video. Do I have other videos going on? Very, uh, up in the uh, next few days and week, or next few days and uh, coming up hours. But I wanted to record this when I got my video making privileges back, uh, since this has come up two days later but now more news has come out about the release of Braun Strowman again I'll be making a separate video about YouTube and their hypocrisy but again this is about um Braun Strowman um and uh someone who I had been a big supporter of since he joined the main roster um and I am really pissed. I'm just frustrated um, because there aren't that many guys that I am emotionally invested in when it comes to WWE anymore because it's just the product looking sucks. And um, one of the guys, you know, Daniel Bryan is now gone. Um, and now Braun Strowman. Is literally gone. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. And um, I'm pissed. I'm aggravated. I'm annoyed. Like two days ago when this news came out. My friend. You know him. The Raining 48. I've done cameos with him. As he's done cameos on here before. The boy Kyle hit me up. And... He texted me and said that Braun Strowman got released. And I told him, no, 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 you're, you're joking. This is an April Fool's joke, right? This is some, I thought this was some late April Fool's joke. I thought he was trolling. I, thought he, I was like, there's no way. And then he's like, Frank, this isn't a joke. And then he showed me the screenshot. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, I, I'm lost. I was lost for words at this. Now, there's been some reports that's what come up that have come up on why he got released. Um, the thing that I believe is probably the budget cut thing at this point, which I still think is a stupid, uh, stupid for WWE to have done. Um, but if one of the rumors are true that WWE released Braun Strowman because he was outdated in terms of being a big guy. You know, that there are taller guys on the roster now, like homage. That is the dumbest reason to release a guy that is talented as Braun Strowman. Okay, that is the dumbest reason to release someone like Braun Strowman. Okay, that would be like the equivalence of uh, Giant Gonzalez being picked over over The Undertaker. Okay, that is. Okay, Giant Gonzalez is taller than The Undertaker. So I guess by that logic, that means Undertaker's outdated too, right Vince? Right Vince McMahon? Um, or whoever decided to make this decision. Um, because I heard that it might have been Nick Khan, the, the new president, um, which that's another thing that's coming up is the possibility of the sale of WWE. I'm going to make a separate video about that, by the way, but I, all I'm going to say is I don't believe that that's the reason Vince will not, will not, uh, sell WWE. But I'll get that in, in another video. Um, but whatever the reason is, this is the dumbest thing ever. Okay, one, WWE just a month ago had Braun Strowman featured in a high-profile match at WrestleMania against Shane McMahon, which he won, by the way. Uh, and then just two weeks before his release, he was in the main event of Backlash pay-per-view um, for the WWE Championship which he beat Drew McIntyre 
to qualify in that pay-per-view match on Monday Night Raw. So why the hell is this guy getting released? Um, Like I said, Homage. First of all, Homage is not a good wrestler, okay? He's a tall guy. I'm glad he's uh, with AJ Styles because... Obviously, he really needs help, you know, in terms of bulking up his wrestling ability because, you know, AJ Styles is hugely talented, but Omaz is not a good wrestler. All right, he's not done anything really that much in the ring. If you're going to tell me he's Braun Strowman's replacement just because he's taller than him, that is some horseshit. Okay. Again, that is the equivalence of Giant Gonzalez being picked over over The Undertaker. Because Giant Gonzalez is taller than him. Not good wrestler, but because he's taller than him. You know, back of the line, buddy. You may have been a former world champion, but we don't need you anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Just some stupid crap. I've heard some YouTubers talk about this, and I'm just like, you know, oh, we weren't supporting Braun Strowman. Like, I heard a YouTuber uh, say that, oh, we didn't support Braun Strowman enough. Where the hell were you the last three years when this guy was massively over? Massively over. People couldn't get enough of this guy. And people wanted him to be the world champion. But WWE was too busy trying to overpush Roman Reigns to the world title that he never got it. And then Roman unfortunately got cancer. So he had to vacate the title. Okay. And then it was him versus Brock. And the Saudi Arabia event. And once again, what do they do? They give it to Brock instead. Instead of having Braun Strowman win. Then they have... Him not win the Royal Rumble, have Seth Rollins win it instead, even though Braun Strowman was more over than Seth Rollins at that point. Okay. You know, this is what I'm talking about. WWE is the reason why Braun, you know, it's, it's WWE's fault. He won money in the bank. He was over. They had a chance for him to, to win the title. But, of course, they have to give it to Roman at SummerSlam. They, they teased the fans because they knew the fans were going to cheer for Braun Strowman and not Roman Reigns. Of course, before that, there was the WrestleMania with Brock and Roman. Instead of Braun, Braun beat everyone at Elimination Chamber. Beat everyone at Elimination Chamber, but then loses to Roman. Roman gets booed out of the building, and so they have to give it to Brock. Okay, this is the shit they did when Braun Strowman was massively over. This guy was getting Daniel Bryan-like cheers. This was a guy that people wanted to see be the world champion. So don't give me this crap that, oh, it's somehow Braun Strowman's fault. No, 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 no. It was the booking that ruined Braun Strowman. They finally give him the universal title because Roman Reigns decided to leave because of the COVID-19 pandemic that had just started. So he beats Goldberg at WrestleMania in the Performance Center in front of no fans. Okay. Has a four-month title run. And then they give it to The Fiend right when Roman Reigns comes back. Which they should have just had Roman, or they should have just had Braun retain, and then just have Roman win the title and not have the Fiend win the title for a week, which was just stupid. Um, so they do all this stupid bullshit, okay? And even after he loses the title, they book him very strong against Underground Guy. They, again, have him beat Shane at WrestleMania. They have him in a world title match just a couple of weeks ago. Like, you're going to tell me 
that you release this guy because of his height? Not being as big as a guy who's freaking green? Green as green can be. Now, don't get me wrong. Omaj, you know, there is promise he's learning from AJ Styles. You know, he's working with AJ, which is making him better. Uh, but he hasn't really done anything yet to really prove his worth of someone that's better than Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman is massively over, okay? And maybe he lost some steam, but he's still over with the fans, okay? But him losing steam is not because of him, it's because of WWE. WWE's the reason they refused to put the title on him despite what the fans wanted, okay? The fans clearly wanted him. You know, WWE is supposed to be, you know, muscles. You know, that's what Vince always looks for. Braun had that. Braun had the muscle. He was over like hell, okay? But, of course, for some reason, Vince McMahon didn't want him to be champion. That's what this comes down to. That's what this goddamn comes down to. Anybody that gets over by themselves in this day and age cannot be a world champion. By this logic, then Stone Cold should have never been world champion because he got over on his own. Braun Strowman got over on his own. Daniel Bryan got over on his own. Okay? He is still irritated that CM Punk got over on his own. He wants the people that he wants to get over get over on uh get over because of him not because of what the fans want this is another classic story braun Strowman did everything that you want to happen for a wrestler to get over okay he did everything that you wanted him to do he had catchphrases, I'm not finished with you, which I personally thought was better than get these hands. But then he came up with get these hands, okay? He got over, monsters among men, all this stuff, you know, that you want in a WWE superstar. He did all of that. He did everything. He got over by the fans. He did his talking, you know, simple but sweet, okay, with, you know, I mean, I don't think his mic skills were the best, but they were decent, and with his gimmick, it was enough for his promotes to be decent, okay, because of the way his gimmick was set up, okay, he didn't really have to talk that much to get his point across, um, so it worked, Okay, um, his wrestling, I thought, was good. Obviously not, you know, the best of the best there, but obviously uh, there are even more giant men that, in my opinion, aren't nearly as good as other athletic guys. I mean, this guy was a strong athletic guy that did a lot of moves for, you know, himself as a wrestler there. Um, very committed, um, and he always continued to improve on his wrestling. Um, you know, I remember, you know, his match with Big Show, okay, and, you know, two big guys usually don't work well together, uh, but they teared the house down on that Monday Night Raw, I don't remember what date it was, but that match, man, um, I'm not talking about the one... Because uh, there were a couple Raw matches he had uh, with Big Show. But the the first one, I believe it was. Not the one where they, you know, they, they knocked down the ring or whatever. Or collapsed the ring. I'm talking about the one before that where Braun actually won. Um, uh, they tore the house down. Um, I'm not necessarily talking about all the other people that got released. Because um, the, the other people that got released... While it's unfortunate because all of them are very talented, to me none of them were a surprise, including Bob, including uh, Alistair Black. A lot of people were surprised by him. Yeah, he just came back with a repackaged gimmick, but you know he was asking 
you know, to leave. You know, he was wanting to go back to NXT or whatever and, like, was rejected. So the fact of the matter, he was on the way out anyways, you know, uh, as well as all the other uh, people that unfortunately got released. I thought they would have kept Lana, you know, just to spite Rusev, uh, but, you know, again, none of these uh, people, unfortunately, I, I, I'm sorry that they got released, but um, none of them were as a surprise to me as Braun Strowman. That was the only surprise to me, was Braun Strowman. Um, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, have crapped on Braun Strowman because of his comment about the whole Patreon comment, uh, you know, about, you know, him working hard, you know, to get where he is at. And you know what? Um, I know the comment was kind of a little arrogant, but at the same time, Braun Strowman worked his ass off to get to the industry, okay? I don't think there was nothing wrong with what he said. I mean, I, I, I don't agree with him on the Patreon thing, you know, that people, you know, ask, you know, for that. You know, we're not forcing people to to, to donate to Patreon or whatever. Um, but I don't think his comment was that ignorant uh, in contents of, you know, he you know, did what he had to do to get to where he was at. And he didn't have a platform when before he joined WWE. But, you know, that's what most people have been pointing out. Um, that's what most people have been pointing out uh, about this firing uh, of Braun Strowman is the, you know, the comment he said a year ago. Um, but really, guys, you know, I think it's really not fair to say that to a guy like him. You know, since, you know, you know, he went and traveled and, you know, did what he had to do to, ma uh, to make it. You know, everybody has their own story. Um, and that's just his perspective. And I don't think we should get on him for that. Okay, that was his perspective. You know, and I don't think we should get on him for that. Okay, everyone has their own stories on how they make it. Uh, and I don't think that should be what they do. Now, I do hope Braun Strowman does continue to wrestle. Um, you know, he had made a comment that if, you know, if he doesn't work for WWE anymore, that he would hang himself, uh, he would, uh, he would leave, you know, the wrestling industry, that he only wants to work for WWE. I hope that isn't true because I think Braun Strowman has a lot left in the tank. I think he's very talented in the ring. Um, I don't know what name he would go by. I, you know, I don't think he should go by his real name if he continues to wrestle. Um, I think he should go by Braun Strongman. Now, a lot of people said that he can't really use the Braun name. But to my understanding, the way it works is, is it has to be the full name. So... I think he could use the first name, but then would have to change Strowman to something else, which is why I came up with the suggestion Strongman, uh, since he's a strongman. Um, and I hope he does go to AEW. I don't know what AEW would do, but, you know, AEW is signing a lot of WWE guys, despite them saying that they wouldn't sign WWE guys, and Braun Strowman would probably be the hottest free agent uh, in the industry right now. Uh, because he is a former Universal Champion. He is over with the fans. Um, so, him signing with AEW would, I think, be cool. Like I said, I really hope they keep the Braun name and just call him Braun Strongman, because I don't think his first name is as impactful as, you know, because his real name is Adam. I don't think that's as impactful as, and they already have an Adam in um, in AEW. So I think, you know, if he could somehow keep the Braun name and come up with a new last name, um, like I said, Strongman, uh, I think that would be kind of a cool way to, to bring him in um, for AEW. Um, some people think he might go to Impact. I, I don't think so. Uh, that'd be a downgrade to go to Impact. Uh, AEW would be the best option, um, in my opinion. Um, 
or impact as it's called now um but yeah um Braun Strowman um released I'm very aggravated about it I like I said I hope Braun will be back very soon um he definitely has the most options because obviously he's someone that a lot of indie feds are going to seek out because of his popularity and his platform uh, and his fan base. Um, and I'm, I'd be shocked if AEW didn't try to approach him because AEW does seem to be like wanting to get WWE stars despite the fact that they said they don't want WWE stars. Um, they have been signing guys uh legends really that aren't really going to even wrestle big show and mark henry signed and are signed as like kind of commentators or whatever uh and not actually wrestlers so uh braun Strowman is someone that's still in his prime in my opinion um that i could see uh aew someone uh, i could see aew wanting him i know a lot of people think all oh, you know his style is completely different from the aew guys i could totally see uh him adjusting too like a lot of people think this guy can't work with small guys like i i, I watch booker t's video like oh he can only work for with two or three guys that's such a crock of shit i'm sorry i like booker t as a wrestler but i totally disagree with his opinion on him. He wrestled with Seth Rollins and had a good match. He's wrestled with multiple small guys. Okay, like, like I'm sorry. I disagree with Booker T's comment on that. I like Booker T as a wrestler, but I don't agree with his comment on that at all. That, oh, he only can work with two guys. I'm like, are we, what wrestling have we been watching for the past multiple years? I've seen him work with multiple guys. I've seen him work with Kevin Owens. I've seen him work with Kevin Owens. Like... Like, he worked with Sami Zayn. I mean, where's Sami Zayn? Remember that, guys? You know, like, what the hell? You know, I'm sorry if I'm, you know, trying to come off on this, but, like, I, I, when I heard that, when I seen that video, what Booker T said about Braun Strowman, you know, only being able to work with two, three guys in AEW, I'm like, are you kidding me? I think he could tear the house down with, you know, Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, as he's called in AEW. I can see him tear the house down with all those guys. You know, any of those guys. Because the one thing Braun Strowman is good at is um, he adjusts and he, you know, he's very athletic for him, for a big guy. And I think he could adjust to the, small, to the smaller guys. You know, even, um, you know, Kenny Omega, which... I'm not a big fan of his, uh, of Kenny, um, but he's okay in the ring. I'm just not really – I haven't really seen – like a lot of people have talked about Kenny Omega as like this great wrestler. I mean, I haven't really seen that much from him that indicates that. Like I haven't seen him at a CM Punk level or anything like that. Um, a lot of people said to me that you got to watch more of his Japan stuff, uh, but – I haven't seen, like, from his AEW stuff, I haven't really seen that much. Um, or at Daniel Bryan level. You know, Daniel Bryan and CM Punk are the bell toes, in my opinion, for a wrestler, uh, a five-star wrestler. Um, so, that's just my take on it. Um, Uh, but yeah, I think he could definitely adjust to the AEW roster. Uh, more than two, three guys, like Booker T said. Um, like, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And hopefully, he's not finished yet. Uh, comment rate. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Not many people that watch me uh, are subscribed. So make sure to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell for all the latest content. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. Out of here. Peace.